Hi students, welcome to GSI Mass Academy. Now, in this video, I would like to explain about the first chapter of our class 9, that is of real numbers. Before getting into the topic, you should uh, recall that what we learnt about numbers in the previous classes. Okay, firstly, in the class 6, you might have learnt about the set of natural numbers and we all are aware about that set of natural numbers is represented by capital N and natural numbers are start with 3 1, 2, 3 and so and so okay, up to infinite so here set of natural numbers is also called as a counting numbers why because these are the numbers which we will use to count okay so and after set of natural numbers we will end up with whole numbers and set of whole numbers is represented by capital W and 0 together with the natural numbers 0 together with the natural numbers is called as whole numbers and after whole numbers you learn about uh, integers which is represented by I or capital Z I or capital Z here with the along with the whole numbers negative of the natural numbers will take ok so Then, up to this part, we learnt about the class 6 and class 7. And in the class 8, you learnt about the rational numbers. You learnt about the rational numbers. And rational numbers is represented by capital Q. Okay. So, let us uh, discuss about the definition of rational numbers. What is the definition of rational numbers? Rational numbers means what? The numbers which can be written in the form of P by Q. The numbers which can be written in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are belongs to integers, then that numbers are set with what? Rational numbers. Rational numbers means what? The numbers which can be written in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are an integer, then that numbers are set with what? Rational numbers. And here you might have a get a doubt, sir, in the previous class, in the before in the primary classes. We learnt about the fractions. We learnt about the fractions. Here, if you take an example of fraction as 2 by 5, and it is also in P by Q form, can I call it as a rational number? As this is a rational number. And already we learnt about fractions now. Then why we need to call it as a rational numbers again? That means, what is the difference between the fractions and rational numbers? That you have to understand. Here, in the fractions, fractions also call it the norm. Fractions also are in the form of P by Q, where P and Q are belongs to natural numbers. P and Q are belongs to natural numbers. That means in the fractions, negative numbers is not permitted. In the fractions, negative numbers cannot be taken. But here in the rational numbers, you can take a negative negative numbers. Here also there is a one condition that P and Q are in natural numbers and Q should not be equal to 0 for the for the fractions here here also P and Q are in the in case of rational numbers also P and Q are belongs to integers uh, where Q should not be equal to 0 Q should not be equal to 0 here you need to understand that what is the difference between the fractions and rational in the fractions negative numbers or will not uh, permit here negative numbers and positive numbers both are permittable that's why we need to learn about the rational numbers that means every fraction is a rational number and every rational number is need not to be a fraction if you take up 2 by 5 is a fraction and which is also in the form of p by q so this can be said, a, said to be as a rational number you can say as a rational numbers. But if you take a minus 2 by 5, minus 2 by 5 is in the form of P by Q, which is belongs to rational numbers, but which is not an a fraction, which is not a fraction. Why? Because in the fraction, negative number is not permittable. Okay. This is a major difference between the fractions and rationals. And in the rational numbers, what type of numbers are comes into the rational numbers? That means, we learnt about the natural numbers. If you take any natural number 5, 5 can be written in the form of 5 by 1. 
which is in the form of p by q which is in the form of p by q so if it is in the form of p by q then it belongs to rational number that means every natural number every every natural number is a rational number every natural number is a rational number similarly every whole number is also a rational number and we can say that every integer is also a rational number every integer is also a rational number here natural number whole numbers and integers can be written in the form of p by q with a denominator what with a denominator with a denominator one so that can be written in the form of p by q so that's why this becomes a rational numbers these numbers are becomes a rational numbers then afterwards we need to learn about a decimal representation of rational number decimal representation of rational numbers sir what is meaning of rational decimal representation that means what that means writing of a rational number in the decimal form writing of a rational number in the decimal form in your in your childhood you might have learned about the write to 2 by 5 in the in the form of decimals okay in earlier classes we learned you learned that how to write the 2 by 5 in the form of decimal fractions so to write this in the decimal form we used to divide the numerator with help of the denominator as a 2 is very much smaller than 5 we'll take 0 and we'll take point so we'll take a 20 and we can subtract the 5 four times from the 20 so 5 four 20 then you left a 0 remaining to 0 so what is the answer here 0.4 that means what is the decimal representation of 2.5 that means 0.4 likewise if you take any rational number then how to write the decimal number in the how to write the, that rational number in the decimal form how to that how to write a, that decimal how to write that rational number in the decimal form okay so let us take an, an example let us take an example regarding this representation of a rational numbers in the decimal form if you take 7 by 8 and if you do the division or else if you convert this into decimal what is the decimal form of it means we will take a 7 we will divide the numerator by denominator we will take a zero one so here you can take zero then 8 8 is a 64 subtracting then you will have to take the 6 again 8 7 after 56 four left five so here 40 this is it what 0.875 0.875 Seven five. Likewise, if you take any this, if you take any rational number and converting that rational number into decimal form, that rational number either a terminating decimal, either a terminating decimal or non-terminating decimal, either a terminating decimal or non-terminating repeating decimal or non-terminating repeating decimal. That means. If you convert any rational number in the decimal form, the uh, that rational number either it may be a terminating decimal or non-terminating repeating decimal. So to understand better about it, you should know about uh, what is terminating decimal and what is non-terminating decimal. Okay, let us take a uh, small examples regarding the terminating decimal and non-terminating decimal. If you take a um, an um, A rational number seven by sixteen. Then decimal form of it is zero point four three seven five. And if you take another rational number as a ten by seven, and on converting into four decimal form, this can be written as one point four two eight five seven one four two eight five seven one with and so on. And this can be written as One point four two eight five seven one bar for these numbers, and if you take another rational number of a two by three, and 
if you write this in a decimal form, this you will get it as an 0 0.666. How many six will you get? Will you infinitely many. So this can be written in the shorter manner as a 0 0.6 bar, as a 0 0.6 bar. And with help of these three examples, let us discuss about the types of decimals. Types of decimals are means terminating decimal and non-terminating decimals. Here you should understand the meaning of the terminating decimal. Terminating decimal. Terminating decimal means what? That means the decimal number which is having a end in the decimal part. If you take any decimal part, any decimal number 0 0.257 and it is a decimal number and every decimal number consists of two parts in it. One is a whole part and other is decimal part. Here before see on right to the on right towards towards the right of the decimal point he said it was what decimal part decimal part and towards the left of the decimal point he said it was what whole part and on based on number of terms in it decimal numbers are classified into different types if a, if a decimal number consists of finite number of decimal places then that is said what terminating decimals that means after the decimal point if you are able to count a number of decimal places then it is said without terminating decimal and if you look at this example and in this example this part only this part is said without decimal part this part is said without decimal point part and this is said without whole part and in the decimal part how many numbers are there how many digits are there in it so four there are four numbers are there or else four digits are there in the decimal part so we are able to count a number of decimal places in it so then it is said is what terminating decimal then it is said is what terminating decimal and if you take next problem or else next additional number decimal representation of next additional number we get it as an 1.428571 and it uh, this numbers a group of numbers will continue uh, up to infinitely many times so in this case how many decimal places are there there are infinitely many decimal places are there so then it is said what non-terminating decimal that means no end terminating means what end non-terminating is what no end but uh, as it is a non-terminating but uh, here a group of digits is being repeating a group of digits is being repeating so then that's why it is said to what non-terminating repeating decimal non-terminating repeating decimal and here also in the third example also this is an uh, example of non-terminating repeating decimal non-terminating repeating decimal then now what i mean to say is uh, in the decimals in the decimals there are two types based on number of decimal places that is terminating decimal and non-terminating decimal and here every terminating decimal can be written in the form of p by q so every terminating decimal is an rational number every terminating decimal is a rational number but uh, in the non-terminating decimals again there are two types one is non-terminating non-terminating repeating decimals and non-terminating non-repeating decimals non-terminating non-repeating decimals here ntr ntnr ntr in the sense non-terminating repeating decimals ntnr means what non-terminating non-repeating decimals just now we have discussed one example where we got as a 0.666 so on this can be written as 0 0.6 bar so this is an example of term non-terminating but repeating decimals and here if you take a non-terminating non-repeating decimal like a 0 0.6567 and so on here this is an example of non-terminating non-repeating decimal and here you need to understand that every non-terminating repeating decimal ntr now every non-terminating repeating decimal can be written in the form of p by q 
so it is also a rational number all non terminating repeating decimals are rational numbers but uh, non terminating non repeating decimals cannot be expressed in the form of p by q so these are set with what irrational number these are set with what irrational number i hope you understand about the uh, terminating decimals and non terminating decimals terminating decimals means what the decimal number which is consists of finite number of decimal places is set with what terminating decimal example 0.571 there are three decimal places so it is a terminating decimal okay and this terminating decimal can be written in the form of p by q so it is a rational number and non terminating decimal means what there is no end in the decimal places again non terminating decimal places are of the two types one is of non terminating repeating decimal and other one is non terminating non repeating decimals and every non terminating repeating decimals can be written in the form of p by q which you learnt in the class 8 no problem even if you forgot i am ready to explain in this videos in the further videos okay now here another type of non terminating decimals is non terminating non repeating decimals non terminating non repeating decimals here non terminating non repeating decimals cannot be reducible in the form of p by q that means they cannot be written in the form of p by q that's why these are said without irrational numbers okay is it clear and regarding the rational number there is one more important problem uh, that is representing 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 rational numbers on number line representing rational numbers on number line okay let us see the one small problem regarding the representation of that numbers on the number line okay in the excess there is a one problem that is question number 5 that is represent a 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5 on the number line represent a 8 by 5 and minus 8 by 5 on the number line okay to represent it on the number line let us take a number line excuse me now let us locate the point to 0 and here you need to understand that 8 by 5 8 by 5 okay can we write this in the mixed fraction or not can we write this in the form of mixed fraction or not or simple there are two methods to represent this numbers uh, on the number line simply let us write a uh, 8 or 9 on the right of the zero or on the left of the zero on the both sides let us write a as a integers how you used to represent the integers in the same manner let us represent 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and this side minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 actually we need to take at equal intervals this point we need to take at equal intervals as i am not using that equal intervals don't confuse okay Minus eight. Now, for all denominator is what five. So for all you need to take the denominator five. That's it. Then here you got a pass to eight by five. and here you got a negative 8 by 5 this is one way of solving or else one way of representing these numbers on the number line and we have another method to represent these uh, numbers on the number line so let me explain that method also so that it will be useful to you okay now let me take point to zero Let me take point zero, one, two. Okay. Now here 
uh, we need to represent say a8 by 5. Let me represent the pass to a8 by 5 first. So, we need to represent a8 by 5. Na? So, what is the denominator? 5. So, every interval has to be divided into 5 equal parts. Every interval has to be divided into 5 equal parts. If denominator 5, if denominator is 5 is there, then denom that uh, equal intervals, uh, every interval should be divided into 5 parts. If denominator is 6, this interval should be divided into 6 parts. If denominator 3, in, this has to be divided into 3 parts. Likewise, here, as denominator is 5, I am dividing this into 5 equal parts. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What? Okay. Next. Next interval has also should be divided into 5 equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What it is? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. Now, now you see this first part. This is first part out of 5 parts. This is second part out of 5 parts. This is third part out of 5 parts. Fourth part out of 5 parts. And number 1 is that. That means 5 by 5. Number 1 is 5 by 5. 5 by 5 in the sense 1. And if you take a next part, after 5 by 5, what number will be? 6 by 5. Next, 7 by 5. And 8 by 5. So, we got a 8 by 5 here. This is a 8 by 5. Likewise, if you, uh, same manner, if you apply for on, uh, on uh, left of the 0, on left side of the 0 also, you will get a minus 8 by 5. This is a way of representing the numbers, rational numbers on the number line. And let us discuss about uh, one more important property about uh, rational numbers. That is of density property. That is of density property. Density means what? Density property, density property means what? If you take uh, any two natural numbers, between a uh, 2 and 6 these two are natural numbers and what na what are the natural numbers which are, lies between this if you take then we can take it as an uh, 3 4 5 then we say that these are the three natural numbers which lies between 2 and mm, 6 and in the same manner if you take uh, between 2 and 3 if you take 2 and 3 and what are the natural numbers which uh, what are the natural numbers which lies between these two numbers? Means there is no other natural numbers which lies between this. Okay. But uh, same question, if I say that what is a nat what is a rational number which lies between this? Means uh, there are infinitely many rational numbers between these two rational numbers. That property of the rational numbers is also called as density property of rational numbers. That means what is the density property of rational numbers it says that between any two rational numbers between any two rational numbers between any two rational numbers there exists there exists infinitely many infinitely many rational numbers okay so between any two rational numbers there exists infinitely many rational numbers so this property of a set of rational numbers is also called as an density property of rational numbers so on based on it what type of questions will be asked on based on it what type of questions will be asked means let me take that question from our exercise problem only that is of the heart problem write uh, five rational numbers write five rational numbers between between one and two between one and two between the one and two we need to write uh, five rational numbers so what are the rational numbers which lies between one and two means to answer it you need to understand and definition of rational numbers and what type of decimals are set with what rational numbers if you know these two concepts then you can answer it very easily simply we can write very very easily you can write if you know what type of decimals are rational numbers and 
we in this in this video in the beginning of this video we discuss that every terminating decimal is a rational number every terminating decimal is a rational number so here we need to write five rationals uh, between 1 and 2 means if we are able to write any five rational numbers if you are able to write any five terminating decimals whose values are between 1 and 2 then that decimals only becomes a required five rational numbers do you understand what i am saying if you are able to write any five decimal numbers any five terminating decimals between 1 and 2 then that becomes a five rational numbers so you can take 1 and 2 between 1 and 2 there will be 1.1 the value of 1.1 which lies between 1 and 2 only and 1.3 1.7 1.9 1.6 so these are the terminating decimals which i have taken from between 1 and 2 so as these are terminating decimals these are so these only are set with the answers for this question that means this uh, for this question answer is need not to be unique answer is need not to be unique that means it is not possible to write only one answer for this question because there are infinitely many rational numbers between two, 1 and 2 in that many rational numbers i wrote this pi and it's up to you you can write 1.11, 1, 1. 1. 1.12, 1.13 or 31, 1.43 1. 1. and 1.45. 1. These also you can write. These five terminating decimals also you can write as an answer for this question. Okay. So there are infinitely many rational numbers which lies between 1 and 2. You can write any phi in it by using the concept of every terminating decimal is a rational number okay that's why i explained the types of decimals in the beginning okay so this is about the first section of our rational numbers and and regarding the first chapter or else first exercise i i covered the all the concepts which are regarding to the first exercise and i will try to solve the problems of first exercise in the next video I hope you understand the concept which I have given to you. If you not understand, please send me the your questions or else your doubts through the WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you, students, for watching this video.